Hi, and welcome to another edition of Iron Strong. My name is Jeff Hauser, New England Senior Sales Representative for McWayne Ductile. In this episode, I will discuss how research and modern manufacturing techniques have eliminated the issue of tuberculation in cast iron pipe. As you can see, we're at our Coshocton, Ohio facility at the cement lining operation. The fact is that widespread tuberculation ductile iron pipe is a myth. We live in a time of tremendous change in the water industry. With abundance of new funding, aging systems, many over 100 years old, are being replaced. There's intense competition among pipe manufacturers to provide the material for the next generation of our country's water infrastructure. As a result, tuberculation is being revived as a negative criticism of ductile iron pipe. The most important thing to understand from this video is that tuberculation is a problem that is a legacy of the past. It's discovered in the first iron pipelines installed in the late 1800s. Pipe manufacturers developed a solution cement mortar lining in the 1920s. If your system has experienced issues with tuberculation, the chances are the age of your system or the design of your pipes are some of the oldest still in use. So why does tuberculation happen? Tuberculation occurs in unlined iron pipe when the minerals in the water build up on the pipe's interior, reducing flow and lowering water quality. Over a century ago, first grade cast iron pipe was produced with no coating or lining on the interior. After several decades of use, these untreated water systems, providing service in a highly acidic environment, started to see tuberculation develop. Beginning in 1860, the first effort to protect the pipes from Jerry were made with the addition of hot dip bituminous coating. Ongoing research and development have been fundamental to the enduring success of iron pipe. The research in the early 1900s, cement lining was found to eliminate tuberculation from aggressive water in iron pipes. Since then, it has been standard to manufacture cement mortar line iron pipe in the United States. The first cement lined iron pipe was installed in 1922 in Charleston, South Carolina. Flow tests on the mains in 2019 found the C value, also known as the Hazen Williams coefficient of 140 meaning that this nearly 100-year-old pipe was performing as well as new pipe being delivered to sites around the country today. Improvements in the cement lining process have been made since the first installation. Modern ductile iron pipe production facilities such as this add cement lining centrifugally. High-speed compaction allows for better quality control. Today's ductile iron pipe cement lining has superior quality smooth performance and more precise thickness. This modern process produces pipe with a conservative C value of 140. Several flow tests of pipelines installed in the past 20 years have shown results in active cement line mains of 150 or higher. Then how does the myth that tuberculation is an ongoing problem for ductile iron pipelines persist? Alternate material pipe manufacturers and service providers to make a living removing tuberculation and relining aging pipes love to use photos of worst case scenarios, showing antique unlined pipe to promote their products. But remember, as long as cement lining is present in a ductile iron pipeline, tuberculation will not be an issue, period. If you have questions concerning cement motor lining or want additional information on upgrading your water system, please reach out to your local McWayne ductile representative. Special thanks to Terry Lynch, who originally authored this article, and it has been my privilege to be a part of this retake. Be sure to check out our website, mcwayneductile.com, for additional content and product information. We're also available on all major social media outlets, and we provide hours of great content here on YouTube. And remember, to work hard, work smart, and work safe. Thanks for tuning in.